Good morning, Spirit of God Christian Church. And here we are on our last day of this church-wide fast. Yes, I wanted to make sure that we did what the Lord commanded and demanded of us and that we finished out Monday in its entirety and finished it out strong. As we said in the beginning, we were gonna fast from uh, January the 4th through, all the way through January the 25th. So here we are on that Monday. And the reason why many of you may be looking at my sweatshirt, it's, a, it's what I like to call a Spirit of God Christian Church throwback sweatshirt from uh, our original sweatshirts with our original logo and things like that, because I just wanted you to be reminded of how far the Lord has brought us all. We know that uh, sometime in uh, the second Sunday in February, we'll be celebrating 17 years of our existence. But more importantly, I want you to look back at these last 21 plus days now and look at where the Lord has brought you from. Look at what the Lord has taken you through. And I want you to really appreciate and enjoy this last day of this sacrifice and of this fast because you've got to know that it's setting you up for great blessing. And you know, one of the things that I know for sure that this is, is because of all of the opposition that we faced yesterday with trying to get the sermon and trying to get the broadcast up and out to you. The enemy was, at, was very busy at work to try to really stop us from getting that out to you in the way that God wanted it to with the excellence that God wanted you or being able to get it to you at all. And so while we're doing this series of disarming the devil, while we're in a place of fasting and while we're in a year where there are no limits that are with God, all things are possible. The enemy tried everything he could to really stop us from doing what the Lord has called us to do. And that's why today is so important that we finish this out strong and that we finish it out because the Lord has commanded and demanded for this day. And then what God has said is when you look at your life, I certainly have shown you abundance when you've given me very little. But today is going to be very big in the offering that we give to God and giving him this day that God is going to respond in a very big no limit with God. All things are possible way. So I wanted to share one scripture with you, which is found in Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse 11. And it is very important. It says, now finish the work so that your eager willingness to do it may be matched by your completion of it according to your means. And that's in the NIV, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 11. Now finish the work so that your eager willingness to do it may be matched by your completion of it according to your means. And here's the thing about that. We have the means because God has allowed us to live and be alive to see January the 25th, Monday, January 25th. So what God says is the day that I commanded and demanded of you to finish out this fast strong. God said, I made sure that you had the means by which to do it because I gave you life and I gave you this day. But more importantly, you got to know that the enemy is opposing so much that's going on in the spirit of God is because of the fact of what the Lord is preparing and is doing with us and will do in the coming days. Also, You've come too far to turn back now. So I just wanted to encourage you. Look how far the Lord has brought us and look at how far the Lord is going to take us in the days ahead. But let's finish out this day in completion unto the Lord, knowing that this time tomorrow, that tomorrow morning, that you will have completed your fast. And I will come back with a word of encouragement and support and victory with you, Lord willing, and we will be able to celebrate one with another. But today, let's go out and do what the Lord has commanded and demanded. Put ourselves in a position to make sure we have total and complete victory. I'm Pastor Randall Knight, and God bless you. It's been my privilege to walk with you thus far. Now let's go ahead and cross the tape. Let's go across the finish line and complete what the Lord has asked of us. God bless you. You have a marvelous Monday.